Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about subgraphs. So in the previous video I mentioned how to create biomes in a PCG graph, and now that you have multiple different PCG graphs, you might want to actually combine them together. This is where subgraphs are going to be very useful. So to get started, in this case I can see that my PCG volumes have one graph each, but I have two PCG volumes in my scene. So to only have one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the content browser, into PCG, then PCG graph, and I'm going to create a new graph. In this case, I'm going to rename that one PCG graph biomes. I'm just going to open all the PCG graphs so I can have all of them at the same time in front of me. And in my PCG graph biomes, I'm going to look for subgraph. I'm going to attach the input of the graph into the subgraph and in the subgraph I will select the PCG graph forest. I will then attach the landscape of my input into the PCG graph forest. And I will redo this operation one more time. I'm going to create a new subgraph. Then I'm going to look for the PCG graph forest form. Then we collect the landscape input into the landscape of the PCG graph. Now if I delete my PCG volume number 2, and if I only keep one PCG volume, I can attach to this volume the new PCG graph that I created about biomes. I can see that both my biomes are in the scene, but I only have one PCG volume. You don't necessarily need to create new subgraphs, but this is a very good way to organize your PCG graph. Finally, in the individual graphs that you have, you can connect whatever you're creating, whatever static mesh partner you have, or whatever is happening, into the output of the graph. You don't necessarily need to do that, because as we saw in this demonstration, I did not do it in the first place and still got the results of having one PCG graph, but sometimes it makes things clearer, and sometimes you actually need to connect everything to an output. So now your scene can have one PCG volume, and as many graphs as you want, as long as you use subgraphs. Subgraphs so are a very easy and very practical way to manage all your PCG graph into one single graph. This makes your code neater and more practical to read and look at. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.